What you think about the news that came out about Prize being yeah. an informant? Well, if people do their research, they'll show you that the government has said that there are um, they have a, a payroll of one point seven billion dollars that they pay to informants to this day. To this day. And I always tell people there's a myth in this world, but only in the black community where we lie amongst each other and say, oh, we'll condemn someone. Oh, that motherfucker's a snitch, yo. Fuck that nigga. But the nigga who's saying is the snitch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I seen niggas go around like, yo, that motherfucker, but that nigga who's saying it is a snitch. So we get caught up. I remember t times I've had fights and um, when I get phone calls from people in the pen, they'll tell me, yo, that nigga, blah, 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 is a snitch. But then you got people who carry their paperwork with them saying, yo, they not snitch, but anything can be documented. Anything can be fraudulent. Just because you got your paperwork that says you're not a snitch, how we know you ain't put that together? Do you understand? So just because you got a piece of paper, don't mean you. Matter of fact, you can do use Chat CPT now or GPT and say, "Hey, print me up some paperwork to show that I'm not a snitch." Probation paperwork and a a fucking computer, artificial intelligence will print something up for you. So in today's world, to it's not about if a person is a snitch. In today's world, it's who you are as a man and a woman. And that's who you have to show integrity to yourself and avoid getting in trouble anyway. Even though sometimes you, you meet people who will bring, try to bring damage to your life, but um, you just gotta know how to fight and, 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 and um, get it together so people don't take you down because there's people in this world that would try to take you down. I, I don't care who they are. They would try. It, it's just the hate is real. And I don't even think it's hate. I just think that um, just people who are who, who they are is sad. What was your reaction when you first heard it, though? Because, I mean, for me personally, it caught me by surprise. Me being a fan of, you know, Lauren Hill. I said the modern James Jason Bourne. That could be a movie. That shit was so fly to me. I mean, a, a black motherfucker working with China? 20 million to get a picture with Obama? billions of dollars involved happens to also to be a rapper not just any rapper the fucking Fugees with Wycliffe and the young lady happen to be motherfuckers from Haiti nigga that ain't a number one movie seller on the planet I don't know what the fuck is and shout out to um, my man like um, he, he made a choice it backfired on him um, I wish I, I wish him well, but let this also, from a street perspective, let this also be to people who do crime. If you can't go nowhere else other than your mama house or in the states, leave crime alone because you got to know how to flee like foreigners. You got to know how to flee like white people. They know where the extradit extraditary um, hearings are that you could go to certain countries and they can't extradite you back. That's what blacks got to start learning. That's why they got to start traveling more and know where to go. That motherfucker, you can't come get me in, in this life. But if you're going to be on that, that tier of crime, that's what my suggest, suggestion is. Because most people do petty crime and they stay in the neighborhood, go to their mom's house or their girlfriend's house or a friend in a whole nother state. And eventually you're going to get caught. You think it's any other rappers that's informants? I answered your question. Listen, $1.7 billion is on a payroll <laughs> for the United States of America. Somebody else got to be on there. Definitely somebody else got to be on there. So, you know, sometimes you got to put two and two together. If you, if you saw somebody catch a case, a serious case and they never went to jail and you say they had a good attorney but it, the, the two don't match ah oh, nigga somebody telling on somebody so look at Troy Ave and Tax Stone Troy Ave testified against tax and we found out today that Troy Ave got to go to prison 
Could you imagine how he feels, yo? Yeah, man, that's a terrible feeling, man. Like, you already told people calling you a snitch, and you still got to go to prison. Right, right. Because what's going to happen is going to happen. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a sad exactly. way to go out, man. I feel bad for that dude. Exactly. Man. To go out like that, man. Yikes. I see that's really bothering you, yo. Yeah, man. I mean, that's crazy, yo. I never heard of that yes. before, man. That's a crazy way to go out. You did all that telling, and you still got to go to prison. You took all that criticism, right. everybody calling you a snitch, and you still got to go to prison, yo. That's crazy, man. Yeah, he went out bad, man. Mm-hmm. Sure did. You think he went out bad, yo? You think he went out like a sucker, pretty much? If we keeping it real? Hell, fuck yeah. Well, I mean, where was his attorney? I know he had an attorney. So what do you think he should have did in that situation? He should have got, depending on priors, because everything depends on priors. So depending on priors, hopefully, you know, he should have, they should have let him walk. They, you know, you can't put both the brothers in jail. But again, that's the system. Again, common sense should have been, I'm not going to testify against that man so he could go to jail. 